Between the living machinery of the inner cell and the harsh conditions of the outside world stands the plasma membrane. As crucial as the membrane is, it is also very flexible. If you poke it, it will bounce. And if you poke it hard enough, it will break. But it will soon regroup, because the lipid molecules naturally form a double layer because the heads are hydrophilic and the, and the tails are hydrophobic. There are also some cholesterol and carbo carb carbohydrates in the plasma membrane. There are proteins as well. These receive signals trans and transport nutrients and waste. Sucrose is too large to fit through the holes. The water naturally moves from a concentration of lower solutes to an area where the concentration is higher. In this specific example, there will be more movement of the water from left to right. This diffusion of water is called osmosis. There are three different types of osmosis. One is isotonic, where the concentration of solute is equal outside the cell and inside the cell. In this video, this is a hypertonic solution, where there is more solute outside, which causes the cell to shrink because water from inside the cell is going outside. In this example, as you can see, the cells are expanding. This is because the concentration of solute outside is lower, which causes water to go into the cell. In order to move against the concentration gradient, there has to be active transport. In this case, protein in the plasma membrane are pushing the object through. When the object is too large to be put through by proteins, there has to be endocytosis. Endocytosis is when the cell membrane forms a sac around the object and pulls it in. Phagocytosis when is endocytosis when there is large objects involved and pinocytosis is when the cell intakes solutes or liquids. The opposite is exocytosis, where the sac goes out of the cell and the molecules reform with the cell membrane.